Hi everyone, I'm Michael and welcome to Back Alley Bonsai. Uh, it is mid-March, uh, I just had a birthday, uh, so happy birthday to me. Um, I'm going to be working on my olive trees today. I repotted these last year, they don't really need any potting attention I don't think. Um, I'm mostly just going to be doing some branch selection because I didn't do any over the course of the winter and there are definitely some long branches that I need to get brought back into shape like I got these ones right here um, and I'm going to be doing some top dressing they still got a bunch of fertilizer from over the course of the last year I'm going to scrape some of that off and try and uh, get a little bit better better drainage and get ready for the next year these trees actually do now that I'm looking at them from the bottom have some sort of insect infestation and I'll bring you in to take a look at that I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal I'm going to blast them with some soapy water and see if that doesn't doesn't fix the problem um, I'm not sure exactly what these are they don't look like aphids uh, they might be some some sort of aphid though they're not ones that I'm familiar with but there we go so if I bring you in real close you can see right here all over these leaves I've got all this these are all some sort of insect or arachnid or something uh, I'm not exactly sure what they are I've never seen them before um but I'm going to try, like I said, the soapy water trick and see if I can get those guys gone. Because that's where I like my pests. Gone. So starting off just looking at the tree, I do have this branch that's kind of low down. It's probably going to be a sacrifice branch. I'm going to grow it out, let it thicken up the rest of the tree and help to contribute to its overall health. And then I'll ultimately take it off. Um, it's not really doing anything to make this thing look much like a bonsai or like a little, little tree. Um... Moving up a little bit higher, I'm going to take a look uh, next at this, these two branches right here, which are crisscrossing each other, and don't really need both of them. Um, actually, this one I like better. I'm going to take it and clip it back to two sets of leaves on there, because these leaves grow out in pairs. And we'll see if we get anything else out of that. This branch is, here is coming out and then curling back on itself and then going back up. I don't really like that very much, so I'm going to go ahead and take actually the whole thing off, I think. Next, we got this one, which is really long, much longer than I need it to be at this point. I got a couple of leaf scars right here though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back to there and hopefully I'll get some, some back budding on that. Uh, these branches I will leave alone for now. There's not a lot of really intense work to be done on this tree right now. I'm going to remove a few leaves so I can get a better view. Some of this stuff down here. Trees have all, both had really, really good growing seasons for the last year. Ugh. Keep putting the, my fingers in these, whatever the heck they are. Maybe one of you knows. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, so looking down here, got basically three branches coming out there. So I'm going to take out the strongest of the three. I'm going to get rid of some of this inside grass so I can actually see what's going on. Really vigorous here. Which is good. Beats the alternative. I'd rather have a vigorous year and lots of hard decisions to make than a weak year and no decisions to make. So this branch is a little bit, you know, tall and long, but I actually, this is going to be my, my leader moving forward. So I'm going to let this one keep growing out and see if I get some branching off of it. Get that cleaned up a bit. Yeah, I'm just 
just kind of partially defoliating and a lot of this foliage is at least a year old so it should be fine it's shooting out some new growth now's a good time to go through and start clipping it all back and ultimately i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with either one of these trees i really just want to grow them out for now Yeah, here's another one that's growing up and then growing back on itself, kind of horizontally. I'll just take that one off altogether. Give up a little bit of a stub from last year. Got a couple of stubs. Stubs. Yeah, and that's basically it for this tree, other than getting it cleaned up. So we'll move on to the second one. And this one here has actually had a really nice... So now we'll take a look at so now we'll take a look at some of this soil. So it's got a lot of fertilizer in here from last year. So I want to kind of clean up that's what all this dark material is. And I do kind of want to look at the roots. They've been in these hydroponics baskets for the last year, and I haven't really taken a look at the roots in a while, so let's see. Oh wow. I uh, got quite a bit of roots growing out of the side of the pot. This is actually really dry right now. I'm surprised. Uh, I need to give this thing a really thorough watering, I guess. That's okay. We need more watering after we wrap up here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and rake off some of this soil on top. It's all pretty loose. Let's see what we've got in the way of roots, if any. I'm kind of looking to see if I've got any good surface roots growing on this thing. Well, I'm seeing lots of fibrous roots, so that's good. I'm not seeing any really major root developments. Oh, there we go. I'm getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a root spread right there. It's probably about three quarters of an inch across right there. Um, so that's good. I'll keep all that buried and hopefully continue to develop some more roots for this plant over the, over the next year. All right. So now let's take a look at this tree. This is the one that I purchased. The one that we were looking at before was one that I grew from a cutting. And this one also has that insect infestation although it doesn't look quite as bad you can see it's, it's all kind of leaning this way because it's been growing against the wall but it's got some pretty crazy branches like you got this branch here that just shot off that way and that's not really not really what i'm going for there's plenty of places to to cut it back to and kind of get it back into control it's got a branch here it's got a branch here So I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to take it back. Oh, geez. Um, I'm going to take it back to there. Uh, 
this one here, which has decided to do some very weird stuff. And we'll clear out some of these leaves so I can kind of see what's going on. It's a nice strong branch. I kind of like overall what it's doing. It's got a weird kink in it down here. I was trying an experiment on positioning and it got this 90 degree bend in it. It'll probably eventually grow out and do something a little bit more natural looking. So I'm going to leave it for now just to further strengthen up the tree, see if this will sort of straighten itself out. And a couple of other branches that are getting really, really out of control. This one's really long and straight, which I don't really like, so I'm going to take that back to there. Now this one is as well. Mostly just kind of, as usual, cutting back to two sets of leaves where I can. Get this branch coming across kind of everything. Take that back to there. And then this one back to two sets of leaves. Some nice new growth. Does something weird. I'll take that downward facing branch off. I've got some new growth coming in on these two sides here, so hopefully let's just clip it back and see what we get out of out of those over the course of the next year. That's, that's kind of it for the branch selection for now. Nothing fancy. It's still got a bunch of weird stuff going on with it. It's got a long way to go before it's really, really a bonsai. Um, but I'm starting to get some, some movement in some of these branches, and we will see how this develops further over the course of the next year. And now let's take a look at some of the soil. Oh, let's take a look at the roots first. Yeah, kind of like the other one. Lots of roots sticking out of the side of the pot. Yeah, it's a little dry, so I need to make sure I water it pretty thoroughly here. And kind of the same thing. Lots of fine fibrous roots on this plant. And a pretty good little root flare going on 
right here. So I think that might just be as, as deep as I as I bury it here. some fresh topsoil. the second one and the second one Well, there you go everybody that is it for the march uh, prune up of my olive trees and the surface dressing if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below happy to respond to those and as always have yourselves a wonderful day